What's up guys, it's Shana and today we're going to check out Streets Residences in Seri Tanjong Pinang. Pinang, let's go! So we are now currently at the rooftop facility just to get our coordinates right. We are now currently around the north east part of Penang Island itself where it's called Tanjong Tokong where at the edge we will be Tanjong Bunga then on the way to Gurney itself we have this development called Straits Key where it's a mixture of commercial and residences and this project Straits Residences seems to be like the last building of this development lah. and the main selling point we are literally at the edge facing the sea so this will be the infinity edge swimming pool you have the wading pool so surrounding the entire boundary of the building you have glass railings and it just maximize the vista you get to see the gurney drive georgetown and the beauty about penang again you have beach sites along with the mountain and hills it's amazing to the swimming pool, this will be the gym. Unfortunately, the gym faces the view of other buildings. Like it's not the other way because they already use up that facade for the swimming pool. So you have the usual, the machines, the cardio area. Just that, where are the weights? Besides the usual multi-purpose hall, the kids play area, right? On the rooftop itself, they located this very nice area to be used as a barbecue pit. So in accordance to the team, there are still a lot of fixtures that are not installed just yet. But I didn't notice that also because the view is just too mesmerizing. Having to hang out with your friends around this area at night, so cooling, enjoying the sea breeze. <sighs> but there's this concept that I find a little bit peculiar. Next to the barbecue area, right, there's this zone that includes the sales gallery area currently. It's all private. That means this space belongs to the developer and it's up to them whether you want to sell, they're gonna to rent to a FMB operator to use up this space. And this is a rather new concept for a residence. But I guess it's ideal since this is located within a commercial area. And this totally has that potential to be that next level sky dining experience, right? On this side, we have the Desa Park City concept of Penang itself. You can see all the landed architectures. But one of the concerns they have mentioned back then will be the land feelings. And that never ending competition to have beach side property. Like. Just when you thought last time this was the beach front, they made this the beach front and thus when you thought this was the beach front there comes another one and the main circulation path for construction will be going through this highway into that new master plan and you can see it's massive so there's going to be future blocks around that area along with that area around Gurney as well Moving on, coming up from the lift, we are at the lift lobby and it's very bright, very spacious. And right at the end, you will have this big window panel. It will have artworks. It's like a display with down lights. It feels like a hotel, right? I like the dark timber skirtings at the edge. Then you have all these lines. We have three passenger lift, one service lift and they will be serving 13 units in total. So for better privacy, they have designed it to be right and left wing. I also really like the wave winding. It's so hotel-ish. Because of the width of the corridor, we have 1.8 meters. The height will be around 3 meters. And you can see the black lines. It's pretty consistent. And this will be the experience going back to the unit. Branching from the main corridor, this will be somewhat exclusive, sharing between two units only. And look at the unit number design. Wow, look, check the groove on the carpentry work and check out the flooring. So this will be your foyer, stone, finished and ta-da! that we'll be checking today will be type A, a two bedroom suite, one, three, five, six square feet. And what's cool, if you look into the overall floor plate, it's located at the edge where you have that 
private corridor and when you come in immediately you will have the kitchen and dining then the living space with your balcony this will be the active areas then you have the private areas in the back where you have the two bedrooms at the end both are en suite and just in case there's one powder room here then stepping into the unit we still have that consistent black groove line along with the door frame to match it and this is a one meter clearance door and each unit comes with its own smart lock system so that really saves a lot of hassle in case right you buy this as an investment you want to rent out or whatsoever this makes things really convenient and the unit that we're currently checking right is actually fully fitted also fully furnished it means whatever you see in a unit today is going to be 95 percent similar to the actual unit that you're going to get that includes the wall panel and all these built-in cabinets so here you have all this storage space for you to put your stuff right and immediately after that you will have the kitchen and the side next to your living and dining so they demarcate the spaces using different materials i really like the joints separated by this metal strip right it's so nice and for kitchen which is one of their selling points that they are extremely proud of you have electrolux oven and microwave then you have backhoe for hood and hop right then you have grow heat baking check out this counter it's just so solid and it's arranged in an l form so it's very workable and that includes all these cabinets and most of them come with soft closing that's for sure for all of their projects and they are really proud of it which i'm happy about then you have all the drawers compartments right amazing and next to this will be the dining and living so from wall to wall is around 4.6 meters in width this is a height of around 3.3 meters it's extremely spacious and they also use the difference in height to split the spaces coming out the balcony this is around one meters in width and you have timber like tiles then you have a curb and built on top of it will be this steel handrail and right at your doorstep will be streets key commercial area already you also have a drain and what's cool would be their compartment for the aircon which is very nicely done so for specs wise you have timber flooring timber skirtings and i like the effort in adding all these fittings because that will literally break down the huge walls you have at this plane along with this as well and also do take note there will be sprinklers moving on this will be the two bedrooms and this is really surprising they designed out a space in order to do laundry right so what would be cool is you put up the shelves around the wall and after you put your clothes into the washing machine you just close it got it and next to that we have the powder room grohi basin and Groto wc that's wow then you have this full-size glass across the wall mechanical ventilator you have this stone wall finish and because it's a powder room this is not going to get wet therefore they just have plaster and paint this is considered high specs and it's very complete as it comes with a vanity top as well and you just check this out right this extra terminations it's all very well done moving on this will be the first bedroom and before going in you have an ensuite so it's pretty similar as well you have grohi for your basin and you have Toto for your WC. The lights just adds drama to the space. You have a shower screen that divides the shower area. Therefore, you can really see the confidence in dividing the bathroom right into a dry and wet zone. So you have four high wall tiles here. You have the hollow space for your shampoos and this will be mechanical ventilated. I like the switches. Big and the height is awesome. Then on the side, you have the wardrobe space and this wow this will be the bedroom so after putting in a queen size bed we still have space for bedside tables then we have the helmet for your curtains air cons will be provided along with the track lights cabinets all done and still have a lot of space for circulation you can easily fit another study area this side right overlooking to this view and if you are on the highest floor then you get to see the horizon already so this is also a clear demonstration where the windows not necessarily must be from top to bottom full height as this size is clearly enough la. so it's easier for construction as well as maintenance because you don't have water sipping through this side and the space is already so bright 
right. Moving on, we will check out the principal bedroom. So the bedroom feels crazy big, right? Like from wall to wall, you have 4.5 meters, 3.3 in ceiling height. And after putting in the king size bed, it's like so small, you can still have all this space for circulation and still have the balcony just in case you want fresh air. Okay, so this will be the same steel handrail and you have louvers at the top for extra shading also to add flavor to the facade. You also have this wardrobe space and this will be the walk-in wardrobe. All of this will be provided nice and this will be the principal bathroom. Full height stone finish. You have your grohi basin. But I think the space for the for him for her design. Then this will be your bathtub. And you have a window to allow daily light in. Compartments for your shampoo and all. Very nice. And I really like the consistent black groove across all the spaces. And if you really check all the build quality, it's so well done. On to the other areas okay let's go then in the center of the floor plate we have this fire service lift right then here will be the refuse area well it's very spacious you have the house with a small ventilation panel now we are at the car park area and there will be eight levels of car park altogether and the higher your unit the lower your car park level will be therefore you don't have to drive up so much but this is at level eight and it's very nice, I must say, for a car park. You have a very bright floor of epoxy, and you can see all the mechanical elements are very tidy. You have all the louvers, add flavor to your facade, also the little balustrade details. Here you're gonna see the residence is really very close to the commercial area. So there's this passageway right in front of the door. Then you get to go shopping and grocers already. Then for their car park typology, they are using this split floor design and every time you come out from the car, if you were to park here, you'll be welcomed by sea breeze. You have that amazing view of the sea. Okay, we are now at the back door area going into the lobby and you can see the road textures is amazing it's not like those tar road and this is really very well decorated then next to that you will have the mail room and the lights are in accordance to timer so that's cool and this will be the space for a future lounge or a waiting area but overall if you look at it right it's very well decorated from the wall finishes from the light, from the floor. We are now in the lobby and the waiting area. So you have a counter here as your concierge. And this definitely feels like a hotel. And last of all, we are right in front of the drop-off area. And it's a direct turn out from the main road. And one of the main selling points, what people like here, right, would be the convenience. Without getting to my car, well, I can just come down from my unit and walk directly into streets key and there will be the grocers the shop the gallery tuition center or whatsoever right not only that these retails units are actually sold sooner and later this will be fmb outlets or whatsoever lah. okay but overall if you look into the facade treatment it's very colonial the vertical elements are really nice i really like the gold and black treatments it really adds class to things For the visit, it's now time for Sean take three on three. Three things I really like. Number one, definitely the location itself of Tanjong Tokong. So this location is really in between the tourist hotspot of Tanjong Bunga, Gurney versus the locals that stays around here. And we ask locals, right, where would be the privilege, where would be the rich areas, right? Definitely this. And what caught attention would be the Seri Tanjong Pinang area that is the landed right outside. Very similar to what we have in Desa Park City in KL. But the main difference for streets residences would be the connection to the commercial area of Street Ski. Without driving, you get to really access 
there's a lot. Maybe grocers, you have the Korean Mart now, convenience stores, galleries, schools, restaurants, cafeterias. And this is also a place where people park their private yard. Hence, you can somewhat gauge the level of net worth for individuals that stays around here. Not only that, for the locals as well, this location is really filled with international schools. And the joke around here will be common international schools and international schools that are really picky for their students. Personally, this is one of the beauty of Penang topography where in one frame you get to enjoy the hill, you also get to enjoy the sea. Number two, in terms of the building, I really like the treatment of the interiors, especially from the lobby coming in. Once you turn off from the main road, right, you are already on this concrete flooring, plus the teeming of the overall straight ski, it really feels like the colonial area, the combination of stone finish along with bold black lines, plus the wall lights, everything feels so luxurious. Then when you step into your corridor, it's so wide, it's so high, and I really enjoy that consistent design treatment of the black line, from the drop-off area to the lift, to the leaf lobbies, to the corridor, to the foyer treatments, to the cabinet, until the toilet. Usually it's pretty difficult to pull off a black line design because it eats up space. But for this project itself, the scale of everything, it's incredible. Everything is 4.5, everything is 3.3. And with that, they really get to pull off that design and it's amazing. And last of all, I really enjoy the application of materials, new designs and technologies. What I learned in this trip was the treatment for the aircon latch at the balcony where they add on this aluminium layer of louvers. You can still open them for maintenance purposes. Then with the end in mind, just in case I have a friend who wants to come to Penang but I'm in KL, right? I get to send QR codes to them for them to access the unit. They have this QR code scanner in every entrance. So it means if I were to buy a unit here, you want to come and stay, I will send you a QR code. You get to scan the QR code. But after you park your car, you scan this at the entrance lobby, at the lift as well. Then at the unit, I'll just send you the code. You dee -dee -dee -dee, and you get to enjoy the unit. And the unit feels exactly like a hotel unit. The experience starts when you step into the lift. You have that marble, gold trimming, stone finishes coming out. You have paintings with down lights. And similar to the KL projects, the materials used in the unit is excellent. The kitchen cabinets, the toiletries, the sanitary wares. And you get to browse all of this with a peace of mind because everywhere also got CCTV. Then for the three things I don't like, number one would be that never-ending competition to live by the sea. 10, 20 years ago, before all these landed were built, the earlier residents thought they were living by the sea, right? Then this lander probably comes in. Then you have this new extension, that new area of reclaimed land. Who knows there will be more in the future, I bet there will be. It's a never ending game, so the concern will be competition and it might affect your view to a certain level. The second thing I don't like would be the facilities that are not as extensive. I know they pay a lot of attention to all the common areas which is the corridor, the lobby, the entrance. But when you come to the gym and the hall and the swimming pool, it's really just at that standard level compared to the approach to the unique car park area and others. Last of all would be the revised MM2H guidelines, although it's not really confirmed, confirmed yet because we know like Malaysia, right? Plus with the new prime minister in place, we have this uncertainty of policies. Don't know what will happen, but this location is really expat focus. And this has always been that perfect location to retire. But I guess people would then need to reconsider that now. And I guess that's all for this visit. Thank you very much for the team for the very exclusive visit. They are also in the process of handing over the actual unit. And because of that, we get to re-evaluate the previous review. So it's another episode of the re-review series. Evidently, their build quality and design treatments are really very, very nice. And to me, do I like this project? As mentioned before, I would really consider to retire here because at this price range, it's merely a landed property in KL. In exchange for that, you get this amazing scenery and view, plus all the local food and cuisines, right? The debate is real and with that, thank you very much for watching. If you really like this episode, like it, share it and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, this is Sean Tan. Ciao.